Yesterday we started a new series called Unlikely Heroes and we were looking at some of the most unlikely people in the scripture to have been Israel's rescuers during a time called the season or the period of Judges. It's recorded for us in the Old Testament book called Judges. And the book of Judges really exists for one reason and that is because the people of Israel disobeyed God. Way back as they were taking over the promised land, they disobeyed God and they continued to disobey God. And the book of Judges is a, re is a record of their punishment, of the discipline that God dishes out on them because they failed to obey his command. And you can't really blame them. The command is weird. The command doesn't match up with what we know about God on this side of the cross. The command doesn't at all reflect on the surface his love, his grace, his mercy for all people, which we learn about over and over, especially in the New Testament. His command to his people was given to Joshua. Uh, he, he reminds them of his promise that they're going to live in the promised land, but there's some bad people living in there, so you have to kick them out. But the command is not just to move them out. The command is to destroy them, all of them, women, children, animals, everything. Deuteronomy 20, 17, um, he says, this, this is my instruction to you as you enter the cities which I'm giving you as a special possession. Destroy every living thing. You must completely destroy the Hittites, the Amorites, the Canaanites, the Perizzites, the Hivites, and the Jebusites, just as the Lord your God has commanded you. His command seemed out of his character. Why would God instruct his people to completely destroy all of these individual tribes, these people, the Hittites, the Parasites, the Chebusites? Why would God say this? Sometimes God will ask us to do things that don't really make sense. Now, I'm not talking about the voices that we hear in our heads when, when God tells us to go buy a milkshake or slap that person in the face. That's not what I'm talking about. That's not God speaking. That's you. When God, through his word, speaks to you and asks you to do something that's uncomfortable, like give or love an enemy, when God asks you to do something uncomfortable, it's easy to wonder, what are you thinking? Why, why are you doing that? And maybe it's easy to walk away from a command. Maybe it's easy to walk away from an instruction when it doesn't make sense with that excuse. Well, it doesn't make sense, and if I don't understand it, I'm not going to obey it. One of the things we have to learn about God, and we have to learn early as we follow him, is that everything he does and everything he says has purpose. There is always a reason behind the things he asks us to do. You know, as a parent, there are times when you have to ask your child to do something, and you don't have time, or they don't have the brain power, to understand the reason behind what you ask. Sometimes you just need them to immediately obey so that they're okay you can explain it to them later. They need to learn to trust you as their parent, that you have their best interests in your heart. And if you're asking them to do something that doesn't make sense to them, they still need to obey because you're protecting them and you have purpose behind it. So we're going to look at the purpose or purposes behind why God would ask his people to destroy every living thing in the land of Canaan. And we're going to try to discover what his purpose was but before we do, I want us to learn to be trusting of God, even when we don't understand. It's important that we just trust. God has a purpose. I might not have the brain power to understand it, but because he loves me like a father, I'm going to obey anyway. So whatever is in your world today that you're struggling with, that you're not sure if you can obey or even if you should, if God has said it, you should do it, whether you understand it or not because God has purpose, and his purpose is always looking out for his people, making sure that the road ahead for his people is the best road possible. So, when God asks you to do something that doesn't make sense, trust that he has purpose behind it. You can trust him. See you.